I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the past tense in negative sentences in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the past tense in negative sentences in Spanish. In Spanish, it is very easy. You simply add the word no before the verb and you conjugate the verb in the past tense. Here are some examples. Hablé, no hablé. Estudió, no estudió. Jugábamos, no jugábamos. Unfortunately, it's not that easy in English. So how do we form a negative sentence in the past tense in English? In English, you first always need to use two words to form the negative expression did plus not. In other words, the word no in Spanish means did not in English. Let's look at some examples. Spanish, yo no hablé. English, I did not speak. Did you see how no equals did not? Spanish, ella no habló. English, she did not speak. Did you notice how no equals did not? Let me repeat the rule again. No in Spanish equals did not in the past tense in English. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify verbs in the past tense in negative sentences. Okay, so now you know that no in Spanish in the past tense means did not in English. But what about the main verb? In the previous lesson about the past tense in affirmative sentences, you learned that you have to add ed to the main verb if it is a regular verb. Or if the verb is irregular, learn the new form for the past tense. Well, I have good news for you. In the past tense in negative sentences, the main verb never changes. That's right. The main verb is always the simple form of the verb. It never changes. Here are some examples. I did not speak. You did not speak. We did not speak. They did not speak. He did not speak. She did not speak. It did not speak. Did you notice how the main verb in the negative sentences does not change? You do not add ed and there are no irregular verbs. I am sure you also noted that the auxiliary verb did never changes form either. No matter what the subject is, in the past tense, in negative sentences, the auxiliary verb did never changes, and the main verb is always in the simple form. The video will now stop, and you will have an activity to form the past tense in negative sentences. Congratulations! Now you know how to form negative sentences in the past tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!